Imagine waking up to the news that a Tesla electric car, yes, that same brand known for its high prices and futuristic technologies, will cost just $14,990. Sounds like an exaggeration, right? But that's exactly what Elon Musk announced. Tesla Model 2 arrives in the fourth quarter of 2025 with a bold proposal that has turned the automotive industry upside down. The idea isn't just to launch a cheap car, it's to launch a Tesla that anyone can buy without having to sell a kidney. And more than that, maintaining the performance, bold design, and technological flair that has always defined the brand. The announcement was made with an almost casual tone, but the impact was anything but ordinary. Elon Musk stated that the focus is on putting affordable models on the streets without compromising profit margins. And as impossible as it may seem, Tesla promises to do this without sacrificing what the public loves most, fast acceleration, futuristic design, and automatic software updates. The big question is, how will they achieve this? The answer lies in a concept called micro-efficiency, an approach that promises to completely transform the way a car is manufactured and sold. This concept of micro-efficiency goes far beyond saving here and there. It means redesigning the entire manufacturing process, from internal components to final transportation. Everything was designed to reduce time, space, and, most importantly, cost. It's as if Tesla had examined each stage of production with a magnifying glass, looking for ways to cut corners without compromising quality. And when you're talking about a company that has already revolutionized batteries and factories, you can imagine the scale of the transformation that's coming with the Model 2. But the price itself, 14th by 1999, isn't just a marketing ploy. This specific number carries symbolic weight. It's a kind of red line in the world of electric cars, something many thought unattainable without the final product becoming a stunted and disappointing version. But Elon Musk seems to be doubling down on this logic. Instead of cutting resources, he promises to keep what matters and cut only what's superfluous. This includes everything from the type of plastic used to the way the car is assembled inside the factory. Tesla is targeting an audience that has always dreamed of owning an electric car, but never had access to one. People who look at a Model 3 and think it's beautiful, but unattainable. Now, with the Model 2, that barrier is beginning to crumble. A fully electric car with decent range and cutting edge technology at a price within the affordable financing range. This is a game changer, not only for Tesla, but for the entire global automotive market. The goal isn't just to sell more, it's to expand the concept of electric mobility to a much wider audience. And the curious thing is that this strategy may even seem risky for a brand that has always been associated with luxury and premium innovation. But Tesla seems confident it can deliver this new model without tarnishing its own reputation. In fact, this may be Elon Musk's greatest masterstroke making the electric car an everyday vehicle, present on the streets like a Corolla, only with much more technology and without relying on gasoline. If successful, the Model 2 will be remembered as the car that electrified the masses. Competitors, of course, are already watching. After all, if Tesla can offer all this for this price, brands like Nissan, Chevrolet, and even China's BYD will need to rethink their strategies. It's not just a price battle, it's a concept battle. While some are still betting on entry-level electric cars with basic looks and limited range, Tesla is offering something more refined for less money. And this, let's face it, is a slap in the face to the traditional automotive industry. All of this creates a scenario in which the consumer wins, big time. For the first time, a Tesla-branded electric car is about to enter the garages of families who, until yesterday, only dreamed of it. And best of all, without giving up what matters most. Now, the question remains. How exactly will Tesla achieve this? Because making promises is easy. Delivering is the challenge. 
And that's precisely what we'll understand from now on. The answer to this mystery begins inside the factory, where the concept of micro-efficiency becomes reality. Tesla isn't just improving what already existed. It's rewriting the rules of the game with its new platform called Generation 3. This revolutionary structure allows an entire car to be assembled in just three hours, compared to the five and a half hours required to produce a Model 3 in 2024. Doesn't sound like much, but on an industrial scale, this is a game-changing difference. Every minute saved represents thousands of dollars saved down the production line. The secret is in the calling unboxed manufacturing process, a sophisticated name for a surprisingly simple idea. Assembling the car modularly, like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Instead of the traditional continuous assembly line, where the vehicle moves through the factory in a linear fashion, Tesla now builds separate parts, such as the front, rear, battery, and interior, that are then joined together at the end like Lego bricks. This reduces the number of assembly steps by 45% and saves 40% of factory space. The impact is dramatic. Fewer workers, less travel, less waste. By nearly halving the amount of land used in production, Tesla saves money on rent, maintenance, and energy consumption. And because the Model 2 will be built with this new model, the total cost per unit plummets to about 12500 This isn't just cheap. It's a figure that seemed impossible for the U.S. automotive industry, which has suffered for decades from inflated costs and heavy bureaucracy. While competitors are still trying to optimize their conventional assembly lines, Tesla is simply replacing them with a new paradigm. The change also impacts the number of employees required. With fewer steps and a more straightforward system, the company can operate with a lean, highly trained team. The combination of robotics, modularity, and logistical intelligence allows for a 35% reduction in the number of working hours per vehicle. This means lower payroll and greater agility to adapt production to demand. In times of component shortages and global inflation, this flexibility is worth its weight in gold, literally. And it doesn't stop there. The internal logistics has also been redesigned. By working with pre-assembled modules, Tesla can reorganize transportation and storage within the factory much more efficiently. This reduces the time between a part's arrival and its final installation, avoiding bottlenecks, accumulated inventory, and downtime. The new process also reduces the need for complex welding or expensive robots as the modules arrive nearly finished, ready to be fitted together in sequence. Another detail that goes unnoticed by outsiders is the environmental impact of this system. With fewer production steps, less energy consumption, and a reduced carbon footprint, the unboxed process also reinforces Tesla's sustainability vision. Instead of simply offsetting emissions, as many automakers do, the company is focusing on manufacturing processes that are cleaner from the start. This attracts a young, conscious audience that doesn't just want to drive an electric car, it wants to participate in a cultural and environmental transformation. Now, put all this together. Faster assembly, reduced space, fewer workers, optimized internal logistics, and controlled environmental impact. The result? An unprecedented production cost in the United States. While most automakers have to sell their vehicles for over $25,000 just to break even, Tesla is paving the way for a fully electric car for 14,999s and still make a profit. Sounds like a pipe dream? For many in the industry, it still sounds like science fiction. But inside Tesla's factories, this is already routine. The secret behind this aggressive pricing lies not just in cost cutting, but in a complete reinvention of the manufacturing process. Tesla introduced the so-called Plataforma Generation 3, which not only shortens assembly time to just three hours per vehicle, but also revolutionizes the way cars are built. Instead of following the traditional production line with dozens of robots and complex steps, Tesla adopted a modular system called Unboxed Manufacturing, 
where different parts of the car are assembled separately and then fitted together like pieces of a giant Lego. This modular approach is more than just a pretty idea on paper. It allows multiple parts of the car, such as the front end, rear end, floor with battery pack, and even the interior, to be assembled simultaneously in different stations. This eliminates bottlenecks on the production line and reduces the number of steps required to assemble a single vehicle by 45%. For those working in the factory, this means less rework and increased agility. For the end consumer, it means a car that can be built faster and with less cost involved per screw. Another important aspect of this new philosophy is the use of space. With the unboxed system, Tesla can reduce the physical size of the factory by 40%, which directly impacts fixed production costs. Less space means less energy expenditure, fewer employees to maintain operations, and greater efficiency per square meter. This reduction in the factory footprint not only represents direct savings, but also allows for the opening of new production units in locations that would previously have been financially unfeasible. All this efficiency is also reflected in the costs per unit. While the average cost per vehicle in 2024 was around $34,000 for other Tesla lines, Model 2 could be produced for just $12,500 per dear unit. This represents a savings of over 60% without necessarily compromising quality. In practice, it's as if Tesla has found a way to make three cars for the price of one. And this completely changes the game for its competitors. And it's not just assembly that's become smarter. Internal logistics have also been rethought. Parts are organized more efficiently. Robots now work in shorter cycles. And the time between the start and end of the production line has been drastically reduced. This results in less waste, less rework, and less need for parts storage. Each module is precision engineered to fit together seamlessly, like a custom-made jigsaw puzzle on an industrial scale. This new platform also brings flexibility. Because modules are assembled separately, it's possible to make specific updates to each part of the car without having to change the entire process. If Tesla wants to improve the braking system or change the dashboard design tomorrow, it can do so in a single station without interrupting production of other parts. This modularity gives the company a huge advantage in terms of continuous innovation and rapid response to the market. The most interesting thing is that this efficiency revolution doesn't rely exclusively on cutting-edge technology. Of course, robots, artificial intelligence, and automation are present. But what's truly impressive is the shift in mindset. Tesla looked at every detail of a car's assembly and asked, does it really need to be this way? The result is a production model that could spread to the rest of the industry, especially if the Model 2 becomes a sales success. And everything indicates that it will. Ultimately, the concept of micro-efficiency, it's not simply a matter of cost reduction. It's an industrial philosophy that combines simplicity and innovation to deliver something that seemed impossible. A high-tech electric car for under $15,000. And with the Generation 3 platform as its foundation, Tesla is ready to mass produce while maintaining a healthy operating margin. But what's really intriguing is, where exactly is every dollar being saved? And that's what we'll explore next. When you look at the numbers behind the Model 2's production, things start to get even more impressive. Every component has been optimized to the limit, almost as if Elon Musk had gathered engineers and asked, what can we remove without anyone noticing? The battery, for example, represents the most expensive part of the vehicle, costing about 4,200 per unit. The bet here is on the use of batteries aluminum ions, still under development, or recycled batteries from cars used in autonomous driving tests. Both options significantly reduce costs without compromising safety or performance. The car's structure has also undergone a radical transformation. Instead of the traditional idea of a body welded by hundreds of robots, the Model 2 uses a structure with only two giant pieces cast in giga molds, one in the front and one in the back, connected by a structural battery. 
This eliminates the need for complex welding and reduces the use of expensive equipment. The cost of this structural part was around $1,200, a huge savings compared to the old methods used even in the Model 3. The motor and inverter, responsible for bringing the car to life, cost approximately use 800. They were designed with permanent magnets, but without the use of rare earth materials, which is a key differentiator in a market increasingly concerned about the scarcity and price of these elements. Furthermore, the system was designed to maximize torque at low speeds, eliminating the complex mechanical components that typically increase the cost of this type of vehicle. Inside the car, Tesla has opted for simplicity with intelligence. The traditional instrument panel has disappeared, replaced by a single 10-inch screen in the center, displaying everything from speed to navigation. This system uses the Dojo light, developed in-house by Tesla itself, and eliminates the need for separate entertainment panels. This entire set, including seats made with recycled fiber foam, costs Yuzhuan D. Bice. Zero to zero three. It's the kind of economy that only becomes viable when you completely rethink the function of every part of the interior. In brakes, wheels, and tires, more intelligent cuts. With the use of powerful regenerative brakes, the conventional braking system was simplified, dispensing with large, expensive discs. This allowed the use of standard 15-inch cast aluminum wheels, no fancy alloys or shiny finishes. The result? A total cost of 900 Aurui in this part, without compromising performance or security. The exterior of the vehicle is also surprising. Instead of polished steel or aluminum panels, the Model 2 uses 3D plastic composite panels, which already come out of the printer with the desired color. This eliminates the entire manual painting process, reducing finishing costs, and, as a bonus, improving scratch and heat resistance. With this system, exterior panels cost only $1,100, and each piece comes ready to be fitted into the car as part of the modular puzzle. Software and operating systems, typically a high cost in modern vehicles, have been standardized. Tesla simply adapted the same OTA over-the-air system used in its other models. Meaning the Model 2 did not require any new development team for this, this resulted in a cost of 500 for all software. And because all data is integrated into the Tesla cloud, updates and fixes reach the car automatically, at no additional cost to the user. Finally, there are the assembly and distribution costs. With labor concentrated in low-cost regions and the use of mobile assembly and delivery pods, the cost per car in this sector fell to 2,000 in total, beings 1,200 assembly and us 800 of logistics. Everything was compressed, fitted, and simplified to keep the promise, to deliver a complete, functional, and futuristic Tesla for under $15,000. And now that each piece has been broken down, a new question arises. Can this price be sustained for long? Launching a car for 14 1919 is already bold, but achieving maintain this price in an unpredictable economic scenario, it's a completely different story.